Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and we're playing some more Resident Evil 2. We're going to go and get a few last minute things in the police station before we head back down uh, through the sewers to the Umbrella facility. And there's a point of no return which will be right uh, at the end of this video, I think. Uh, before we go too far, let's... Uh, first thing we want to do is open this up. Actually, we're going to hang on to this tool for one more. We need one more of these doors before we can get rid of it. But this is how we get back into the police station. There's old Marvin, unfortunately. Um, we're just going to do some uh, item management. We don't need the gunpowder. We won't need these at the moment, so we're going to put those away. As well as the flamethrower, but we'll be having fun with that a bit later. Uh, and... That's about right, except we'll, we'll get a combat knife. Just this nearly dead one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Although it's going to look very different by the end of this uh, video. Alright, guys. Now, plan time. Going to head up here and... Hang on. Into the main hall. At which point we're going to make a... Well, not a run. We're going to head to the dark room by going the usual way through the west office. Once we get out of the west office, though, we're going to creep... Past a liquor, probably he'll be lurking somewhere in there and make our way to the dark room where we can uh, process this film or develop the film and go and get the two secret items for an achievement. Now, unfortunately, I had to, I wanted to practice this whole run a few times and I forgot to record them and I, the uh, achievement popped for me off screen. Okay, so Marvin woke up. Sometimes, if you creep up there, Marvin won't wake up and I don't feel like killing him even though he's a zombie now. All right. Okay, now through here we have to slow down. Can hear the hear the liquor already. Don't look. Don't look at it. Just walk. I've also been testing walking a bit faster. It doesn't seem to uh, matter as long as you're walking, but I hate risking it. All right, into the dark room. Okay. Develop the film. All right, it's called Hiding Place. Uh, the top one there, that is the Star's uh, Office. The, uh, yeah, I forget what it's called. Yeah, it's the Star's Office. And the bottom one is the Press Room. We're going to go grab two secret items. Let's do it. Okay, back out the same way. All right, we are going to quickly save. Okay, from the Dark Room. We are heading straight up the stairs and through the shower room down to the star's office. Let's go. Just be careful just until we get to the stairs. And once we are on the stairs, we're free to run. Okay. Now there's going to be a liquor. Um... Probably stalking us after we go out this door as well. So we're going to stay quiet after we get through here. Not sure exactly where it is. But I can hear it. And all we would need to do is make some noise if we wanted it to come and get us. Alright, take a left into this office. And behind the desk. And in the drawer. Wooden box. Immediately examine it. Turn it around. Open it up. Red dot sight for our magnum. Yes. That we definitely want to straight away combine. Oops. There we go. Have a look at that. Boom. It just uh, makes the... Makes it... Um, Close in a lot quicker, so the aim sort of shortens a lot quicker. All right. Anyway, enough about that. Our next plan. We're going to just go back the way we came, back through the shower room, down the stairs. Uh, you could go to the dark room if you wanted to save things, but we're going to go back through the west office. I think that's the way I was planning on going. Hang on, now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we'll go that way, through the main hall, through here, 
and up to the press room. Let's go. Okay, watch out for the liquor again. Oh, I can hear him. Oh, they do some good sound. Oh, I can hear him. I'm pretty sure he's right behind me. I'm not turning around. All right, run. He doesn't come in here for some reason. And down the stairs. All right, and once again, just walking. Can't even hear. Oh, now I can. I was about to say, I can't hear the liquor. That's right. Okay. Whew. And down through the main hall. You could save the game here if you wanted to. We don't need to. Uh, now, I'll also show you guys sort of the count of uh, what we're up to with certain things before we go too far past the point of no return, or before we pass the point of no return. Okay, now, I've got to remember where he comes. There is a, oh, there he is. Take care of this guy. I wanted to surprise myself, it seems. I didn't put him in my notes. I don't think he's, is he dead? No, I knew it. Oh, back up a bit. Shit! Calm down, Leon. There we go. All right, head over to the back corner over here. Now you'll get this achievement popping on the screen right now. And we've got some fuel for our flamethrower. Put that anywhere. Excellent. So yeah, I've uh, just put my own special achievement college stamp on that one but um yeah you should get that to pop for you i think it was a rare one too i hate missing out on that noise on the recording uh oh plan uh we are going back to the main hall and we're actually going back into the secret room and we're gonna head back towards the sewers guys but we've got something else cool to pick up along the way as well Alright, now we have to avoid Marvin if he's still around here somewhere. There he is. Poor bugger. Alright, in we go. Gonna quickly, uh, no, yes, quickly save the game. Okay, and before we leave, make sure you grab. Uh, one thing we wanna do is put that back, and we wanna grab the police badge, or the stars badge which is called the USB dongle key. Grab that. All right, we're going out this way. I think I showed it to you in the last video. We're heading for this uh, weapons case down here. Here it is. Before you interact with it, grab the USB dongle, examine it, turn it around and hit the little button. There we go. And open that up. And use it there to open this. All right, a long barrel again for our Magnum. So just Chuck it on there straight away. It's gonna make things a little bit different. Now all of our guns take up two spots. Okay, now you can grab the badge back, but you'll notice that we don't need it anymore, so discard it, or you could have just left it there, but then it leaves the map red, and I can't stand that. All right, let's just rearrange a few things first. I'm gonna put uh, the Magnum over one spot, put the Magnum ammo up there, move the shotgun to here. And that can just go there for now. How's that look? Pretty good. All right, let's go. 
Okay, so we are still in the underground part. Technically part of the police station. We're working our way back to the workers break room where we uh, shifted that cabinet over. Here it is here. All right, out this way. We don't need to do anything over there. That zombie's already taken care of. We're gonna head left and go down these stairs. We need to open up a shortcut back to uh, where Ada is in the control room and the uh, monitor room. Open up the map now. No, we're not down far enough just yet. But we're gonna head over here and open up the uh, T-bar handle slot. Open up the door there. Oh yeah, there's gonna be three zombies in our way. I don't think that one's done, but... Yeah, she got back up. Really? Alright, there's one more. Let's try out our new Magnum attachment, so... There he is. Ho oh, ho! Reload that. That was worth it, definitely. That was cool. Goodbye head! Hey, oh, oh, oh. Yikes. Alright, open this up. And if memory serves, we should be able to discard that now. Let's have a look. Yep, there we go. Get rid of that. All right. That's where the, um, it was broken. We saw that, oh, I don't think I came up these stairs on the recording earlier, but anyway, this is where we got the sewer key from. All right, uh, okay. This way. Back through here. All right, now, if you didn't need to go back to the control room, you would head up these stairs back to the monitoring room and the uh, cable car platform and all that. But we're heading back to the control room. So those stairs up there will take you up that way. We are gonna go up the way we went, uh, you know, way back when we first came into the sewers, up this way to the control room because we left a lock in there that we hadn't unlocked yet. And we wanna go and get our final lock, which will give us an achievement. Yeah, making sure we're going the right way. So this is the way we went the first time we needed to make our way to the control room. Okay, once we're in the control room, I'll just show you where we are on the map. We've got the final dial lock and you'll get an achievement popping for you. Uh, what was it? S, yeah, S, Z, F. And we got that off a little uh, flyer that we got in the workers break room in the last video. All right, grab some Magnum ammo. Replace that shot that we just used. Okay, down into the monitoring room now. Oh, everything should be, hang on, go back up. Blue, yeah, <laughs> too late otherwise. Okay, here we are in the monitoring room. Let me just check out the inventory. Okay, quickly save your game. Now, we're gonna solve the chess piece puzzle. So, we'll grab the chess pieces out. 
Where are they? One, two, three. Uh, no, we'll wait, we'll wait for that. Okay. And we should have three pieces already in there. So let's just grab them all out. One there. You don't actually need to grab some of them out, but I will just to do this puzzle. And we'll just examine the three that we just got, give them names, the night plug, the pawn plug, and the bishop plug. Okay. Now, to solve this puzzle, it's actually not that hard once, once you know sort of what they mean. All right. Uh, first thing we'll do, actually, is we'll put... They're not trying to trick you. The ones with the pictures, that's where they actually go. So that's a... So if you can see, a picture of the pawn, and it says pawn there. So we'll put the pawn back in there. I think that's where we actually got it out of. And there's a picture of the knight over here. So we'll put him in there. First time I saw it, I thought they were going to be wrong and try and trick us. All right, and then all you need to do is read this note. Pretty sure the rook and knight are on the same wall and the bishop and queen aren't next to each other. The queen and rook were opposite each other too. All right, so... The, the, uh, let me see, how, how's the best way to explain this? Uh, okay. So, first of all, the rook and the knight are on the same wall. So that means the rook has to be on this wall. But it also has to be opposite the queen. So it can't go here. I'll just go back to the note again. Just maybe pause the video and have a read of it. But it can't be... It has to be opposite the queen. So the rook cannot go here because the pawn is opposite. Alright, so the rook has to go here. So put the rook there. And then we know the queen has to go opposite that. So the queen can go over here. And now we've only got two left. And we know that the bishop doesn't go next to the queen. Once again, bishop and queen aren't next to each other. So we have to put the other one here, which is the king. And then the bishop goes in the last remaining spot. Let's go. So hopefully that all makes sense. Excellent. Okay. Just a couple of steps away from saving Ada. It's a bit bit more than what it, what you might think, though. All right. We're going to prepare for what's coming. I guess, like, I mean, it's not really a spoiler if you're watching this, but um, we've got a bit of a boss battle on our hands. So what we're going to take... I never needed that in the end. I might, I might just put that... Uh, actually, now that could be good for an emergency if something happens to grab us. Uh, we want the flamethrower back out. And was there anything else I needed? Let me just check. Nah, I think, I think that's pretty good. We don't need the fuel for it. That's the bonus that we have. And that's the reason why I decided to use the flamethrower here. Nah, I don't need the grenade. All right. I'm just going to... I want to just put... Actually, I just want to move it over. Yeah. All right. Make sure you save after we've solved that puzzle. There's an achievement coming up, and if you fail it, you might want to restart here. Okay. All right. Head out our new exit. And grab this blue herb here. And out here's a green one. These are easy to miss. All right. Now, we can't... Eight is in here, but there's no power. So if you press this... Damn it. Need the power on first. Need the power on first. So head in here. Grab the red herb here. Make sure everything's gone blue. Excellent. You've picked up everything. Alright, now, as soon as we turn the power on by uh, working out this little puzzle here, we are going to try and go back to where Ada is and we're going to get ambushed by Stage 2G, 
Boss fight time. All right, so equip your shotgun to start with. Once we try and get out that door, he's going to start attacking us through the roof. His big, big hand is going to come crashing through the roof trying to grab us. Soon as we've uh, activated that, run over here. We're going to hide or sit ourselves with our head right at the corner of this fan where he can't get us. Eventually, then, he's going to tear down this door and come in here. At which point... Oh, by the way, while that's all going on, this whole room is going to be on fire. Or especially over that side. That, those barrels over there are going to catch fire. So we've got to stay over this side so we, we don't uh, get cooked. Anyway, once he bursts through here, we're going to stun him with our shotgun and then run around him and out that way. And I'll show you the rest <laughs> as we do it, I think. Oh, let me see. Yeah, there's not even a map for me to show you what we're going to do. All right. The puzzle solution for this is number one, number two, and number four. Let's do it. Oh, excuse me. Just uh, having some liquid courage for this bit. All right. Run over near the door. I want to activate it without getting... There we go. And straight over to this spot. Jesus Christ. Get your head under that corner. Now he can't get us. And he'll try and smash through here. Check that out. And we're all... The room's on fire. Make sure you got your shotgun ready. I've tested most of the weapons and I found this the best way to stun him when he comes through the uh, roller door. Just stay here until you see him start smashing on that door. You don't need to move to activate him. Just stay here. Alright, I think... Yep, here he comes. Alright, get ready. Don't back up too much, you'll catch fire. Oh, hit him. Hit his eye. There we go. Stun him. Run behind him. And out. And change to your flamethrower. And just run down this way. When you drop off the edge, you want to turn around and start firing at him again with the uh, flamethrower this time. When he jumps down, yep, start on him. Until it stuns him like that. Push this button. Alright. Now, don't let him get up. We want to keep him there. He probably will get up. There he goes. So, start on him again. There we go. Alright. Now, as soon as you can, we want to push this button. There we go. And as long as he doesn't move, we get an achievement for knocking him off with one go of the uh, crane. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Boom. Achievement. Bye-bye. And even better, we didn't take any damage. We used quite a bit of our flamethrower fuel, but that's okay because we got that bonus lot of uh, flamethrower fuel. All right, we've got a new combat knife here. Got too many now. Flash grenade. Might come in handy a little bit later. Uh, there's some ammo over here. Ooh, we've got leftover uh, magnum bullet now. And let's just check. No, we missed something over here. What did we miss? Oh, that's right. Ammo right here. Excellent. Well, I guess we could... Uh... Yep, it's all gone blue. All right, let's go save Ada. She's across here. And... Open it up. Let's do it. Come on. Ada! Ada, where are you? Over here! Ada! 
getting worried there for a sec. I can't get it out. I, I don't know if I should, uh... Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Hold on. I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? So, yeah. Well, calm down. Get yourself out of here. Well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Rookie. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I can fit in my schedule. Yeah. Come on. We got work to do. Yeah, we do. Yes, ma'am. All right. Heading to the lab means going for a ride on... Yeah, that's right. The cable car. Nice. Getting on the cable car is the point of no return. Sorry for talking over them there. Just, I need to warn you guys about that. That's the point of no return. So if you're missing anything, you need to go back for it right now. You won't have another chance. All right, let's just do a little check. Go to records. Okay, so. Don't worry about any of these. No, no. I think there's some that uh, count this up. I didn't uh, check this off camera, but... Uh, I guess if I'm going through this slow enough, you can check if you've got the same ticks. Uh, all right, that doesn't matter. Well, we haven't done that yet. That's something we might have to cover later. Is that? Yeah, that's an achievement. So we'll definitely be covering that later. I know where I want to do that. Um, okay, any of these? Shoot a hat off a zombie's head. Done that already. Five times. Hats off. That was for shooting the tyrant's hat off. We did that. Bring tyrant down to one knee. I don't remember doing that, but that's okay. We haven't met those yet. Defeat stage 2G using the crane only once. Yeah, we did. And we just covered that in this video. And that was an achievement as well. That is coming up later. We can't get the uh, remaining uh, inventory upgrade just yet. That's past the point of no return. We did that when with Ada. Well, if you followed my um, circuit breaker, the, the puzzle that to open the jail cells, then you'll grab that one as well. The, well, we can't do that until we play as Claire, so we'll be do following, we're doing that in a later episode. Uh, okay, we haven't got up to there yet. All the weapons in Leon's story. Now, I do believe that, one second. Yeah, I don't think we can get all of them in Leon A, but um, I'll double check that off camera, but we haven't missed any yet, so don't worry. We haven't even started Claire's story. Oh, one more custom part. So that's not part of any achievement or the 100%, so um, I don't think I've missed any. Hopefully not. Okay. 
We haven't even started that. We've got three out of five rolls of film. We work, we've got, this is where we need to make sure you've got, you're up to date here. We're up to, we've got 30 out of 58. For the files, 30 out of 58. Nine out of 10, oh sorry, nine out of 15 it actually is. Nine out of 15, Mr. Raccoons. We've got eight out of eight um, safes or locks. I think that's all we need to worry about for now. Just make sure, yeah, we've uh, well and truly passed the uh, steps and we've well and truly opened the item box more than zero. <laughs> uh, we are working our way towards this one though, complete the game without using a recovery item. And there it is currently at zero. So we're on, on on track to grab that one. Okay, sorry guys, I'm a bit distracted. All right, unfortunately, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. It is a bit of a shorter one, but we're going past the point of no return at the start of the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you are enjoying it, remember to give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, post a comment. Uh, please take a look at my Patreon page and consider supporting me there. The link is in the video description, and I will catch you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.